Hello everybody, and I'm going to read to you the almanac of Plants vs. Zombies. We'll start off with the plants. Pea Shooter, your first line of defense is shoot peas of attacking zombies. How can a single plant grow and shoot so many peas so quickly? Pea Shooter says, hard work, commitment, and a healthy, well-balanced breakfast of sunlight and high fiber carbon dioxide make it all possible. Sunflower. I'll just read the bio. The one that's slightly entertaining. Sunflower can't resist bouncing to the beat, which beat is that wise life giving jazzy rhythm of the earth itself thumping at a frequency only a sunflower can hear. Cherry bomb. I want to explode, says cherry number one number. No, let's detonate instead, says his brother cherry number two. After intense consultation, they agreed to explodinate. Walnut. People wonder how I feel about getting constantly chewed on by zombies, says Walnut. What they don't realize is that with my limited senses, all I can feel is a kind of tingling, like a relaxing back rub. <laughs> potato mine. Some folks say potato mine is lazy, but he leaves everything to the last minute. Potato mine says nothing. He's too busy thinking about his investment strategy. Ha ha ha. Snowpea fo folks often tell Snowpea how cool he is, or exhort him to chill out. They tell him to stay frosty. Snowpea just rolls his eyes. He's heard them all. Chompa. Chompa almost got a gig doing stunts for the little shop of horrors, but it fell through when his agent demanded too much on the front end. Chompers aren't resentful, though. He says it's just part of the business. Repeater. Repeater is fierce. He's from the streets. He doesn't take attitude from anyone. Planto is on me and he shoots peas to keep people at a distance. Secretly, though, Repeater yearns for love. Puff Shroom. I only recently became aware of the existence of zombies, says Puff Shroom. Like many fungi, I just assumed they were fairy tales or movie monsters. This whole experience has been a huge eye opener for me. Sun Shroom. Sun Shroom hates sun. He hates it so much that when it fills up and he says to me, spits it out as fast as he can. He just won't abide it to him. Sun is a Crafts. Fume Shroom. I was in a dead end job producing yeast spores for a bakery, says Fume Shroom. Then Puff Shroom, bless him, told me about this great opportunity blasting zombies, and I really feel like I'm making a difference. Grave Buster. Despite Grave Buster's fearsome appearance, he wants everyone to know that he loves kittens and spends his off hours volunteering at a local zombie rehabilitation center. It's just the right thing to do, he says. Hypno Shroom. Zombies are our friends, asserts Hypnoshroom. They're badly misunderstood creatures who play a valuable role in our ecology. We can and should do more to bring them round and to our way of thinking. Scatty Shroom. Who's there? whispers Scatty Shroom, voice barely audible. Go away! I don't want to see anyone, unless it's the man from the circus. Ice Shroom. Ice Shroom frowns, not because he's unhappy or because he disproves it. But just because of a childhood injury that left his facial nerves paralyzed. Doom Shroom. You're lucky I'm on your side, said Doom Shroom. I can destroy everything you hold dear. It wouldn't be hard. Lilypad. Lilypad never complains. Lilypad never wants to know what's going on. Put a plant on top of the Lilypad, he won't say a thing. Does he startle? Does he have any startling opinions on sh or shocking secrets? Nobody knows. Lilypad keeps it all inside. Squash. I'm ready! No, squash. Let's do it. Put me in. There's nobody better. I'm your guy. Come on, what are you waiting for? I need this. Three Peter. Three Peter likes the reading. Back I'm in long periods of immobility in the park. Three Peter enjoys going to shows, particularly modern jazz. I'm just looking for that special someone, he says. Three Peter's favorite number is five. Tangle Kelp. I'm totally invisible. Tangle Kelp thinks to himself. I'll hide here just below the surface and no one will see me. His friends tell him they can see him perfectly well, but he'll never change. Jalapeno. <coughs> Jalapeno says he's not going to explode. Not this time, but soon or no soon. It's close. He knows he can feel his life being a leader after this moment. <gasps> Spikeweed. Hockey is Spikeweed's obsession. He's got boxy season tickets. He keeps close track of his favorite players. And he consistently cleans up in the office hockey pool. Just one problem. He's terrified of pox. Torchwood. Everybody likes and respects Torchwood. They like him for his integrity, for his steadfast friendship, for his ability to greatly maximize P damage. But Torchwood has a secret. He can't read. Tallnut. 
People wonder if there's a rivalry between Walnut and Talnut. Talnut laughs a rich baritone laugh. How could there be anything between us? We are brothers. If you knew what Walnut has done for me, Talnut's voice trails off and he smiles knowingly. Sea Shroom. Sea Shroom has never seen the sea. It's in his name. He's heard loads about it, but he's just never found the time. One day, though, it'll go down. Plantain. Plantain defies science. He just does. Other plants need light and excrete oxygen. Plantain needs darkness and excrete light. Plantain's cagey about how he does it. I'm not going to say sorcery. I wouldn't use the term dark forces. Just, I think I've said enough. Cactus. She's prickly, sure, but Cactus's spikes belly is spongy heart filled with love and goodwill. She just wants to hug and be hugged. Most folks don't can't hang with that, but Cactus doesn't mind. She's been seeing an armadillo for a while, and it really seems to be working out. Blova. When Blova was five, he got a shiny new birthday cake. Blova made his wish, wish huffed and puffed, but he was able to extinguish only 60% of the candles. Instead of giving up, though, he's used that early defeat as a catalyst to push himself harder. Since. Oh no! Split pee! Yeah, I'm a Gemini, says Split P. I know, big surprise, but having two heads, or really one head with a large head like growth on the back, pays off big in my line of work. Starfruit. Aw, oh, man, says Starfruit. I went to the dentist the other day, and he said I have four cavities. I got counted. One, two, four cavities and one tooth. How does this happen? Pumpkin. Pumpkin hasn't heard from his cousin Ren from Renfield lately. Apparently, Renfield's a big star, some kind of, what was it, the sports hero, Peggle Master? Pumpkin doesn't really get it, he just does his job. Magnetroom. Magnetism is a powerful force. Very powerful. Sometimes it scares Magnetroom a little. He's not sure if he can handle that kind of responsibility. Cabbage Pulp. Cabbage Pulp is okay with launching cabbages at zombies. That's what he's paid for, after all. And he's good at it. He just doesn't understand how the zombies get up on the roof in the first place. Flower pot. I'm a pot for planting, yet I'm also a plant. Has your mind exploded yet? Colonel Pulp. Colonel Pulp is the eldest of the Pulp brothers. You have the three of them. Colonel is the only one who consistently remembers the other's birthdays. He bugs them about it a little, too. Coffee Bean. Hey guys, hey, it's Coffee Bean. Hey, what's up? He's down to the head. Did you see the thing? What is the thing? Oh, the line! Yeah, Coffee Bean sure does get excited. Garlic. Lone Diversion isn't just Garlic's profession, it is his passion. He carries an advanced doctorate in redirection. From the Brussels University, I'll talk all day about lane vectors and repulsed rays. Even pushes things into altern alternative avenues at home. Somehow his wife puts up with it. Umbrella Leaf. Swing! Says Umbrella Leaf. Did you like that? I knew it again. Swing! Whoa! That's me popping up. Just around me. Yeah, just like that. Exactly like that. Believe it! Marigold. Marigold spends a lot of time deciding whether to spit out a silver coin or a gold one. She thinks about it ways the end she does solid research and keeps up with the current publications. That's how women stay ahead. Melon pulp. There's no false modesty with melon pulp. Son for damage. I believe I deliver the biggest punch on the lawn, he says. I'm not just bragging. Run the numbers, you'll see. Twin sunflower. It was crazy. It was a crazy night of forbidden science that brought twin sunflower into existence. Thunder crashed overhead, less strange lights flickered. Even the very roaring wind seemed to hit its angry denial. But to no avail, twin sunflower was alive. <laughs> now let's go to the zombies, shall we? Zombie. This zombie loves brains, can't get enough. Brains, 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 day in and day in and Oh, stinky brains, rotten brains, brains, you clearly pass their prime, doesn't matter, regular zombies want them. Flag zombie, make no mistake, flag zombie loves brains, but somewhere down the line he's also picked up a fascination with flags. Maybe it's because the flags always have brains on them. Hard to say. Conehead Zombie. Conehead Zombie shuffled mindlessly forward like every other zombie, but something made him stop. Made him pick up a traffic cone and stick it on his head. Oh yeah, he likes to party. Pole Vaulting Zombie. Some zombies take it further, aspire more, push themselves beyond the normal into greatness. 
That's pole vaulting zombie right there. That is so him. Buckethead zombie. Always wore a bucket. Part of it was to assert his uniqueness in an uncaring world. Mostly, he just forgot he was there in the first place. Newspaper zombie. Newspaper zombie was this close to finishing his Sudoku puzzle. No wonder he's freaking out. Screen door zombie. He had a screen door from the last inexpertly defended home he visited after he ate the homeowner's brain. Football zombie. Football zombie gives 110% whenever he's on the field. He's a team player who delivers both offensively and defensively. He has no idea what a football is. Dancing zombie. I'm going to read the blue word too. Any resemblance between dancing zombie and person living or dead is purely coincidental. Dancing Zombie's latest album, Grrr, Greens, or blah, 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 is already rocketing up the end bed just. Backup Dancer. Backup Dancer Zombie spent six years perfecting his art at Chuliad, performing art school in New Zombie, New York City. Ducky Tube Zombie. It takes a certain kind of zombie to be a ducky tuber. Not every zombie can handle it. Some cracks, they can't take it. They walk away and give up on brains forever. Snorkel Zombie. Zombies don't breathe, they don't need the air, so why does snorkel zombie need snorkel to swim underwater? Answer, peer pressure. Zomboni. Often mistaken for a zombie driving an ice machine, the zomboni is a totally different life form, more closely related to a space ogre than a zombie. Zombie bobsled team. The zombie bobsled team worked, worked hard to get to where they are. They live together, eat brains together, and train together to become a cohesive zombie unit. Dolphin Rider Zombie. The dolphin is also a zombie. Jack in the Box Zombie. The zombie shivers because he has to rest. Not because he's told, but because he's crazy. Balloon Zombie. Balloon Zombie really left out. The balloon thing really works, and none of the other zombies have picked up on it. Digger Zombie. Digger Zombie spends three days a week getting his excavation permits in order. Pogo Zombie. Sproing, sproing, sproing! That's the sound of a powerful and effective zombie doing what he does best, and I have not unlocked that zombie. That makes me angry! Bungie Zombie. Bungie Zombie loves to take a risk. After all, what's the point of being dead if you don't live a little? Ladder zombie. He picked the ladder up for eight ninety nine. Catapult zombie. Of all the things catapult zombie could launch with his catapult, basketball seemed like the best and most obvious choice. Gargantua. When Gargantua walks, the earth trembles. When he moans at the zombie's fall silent, he is a zombie. Other zombies dream they could be, but he still can't find a girlfriend. Imp. Imp may be small, but he's wiry. He's proficient in zombie judo, zombie karate, and zombie band knuckle brawling. He also plays the melodica. And last, Dr. Zomboss. Edgar George Zomboss achieved his doctorate in thanatology in only two years. Quickly mastering thanatological technology, he built his fearsome Zombot and set about establishing the absolute dominance of his local subdivision. And that was MWT Ultra Jamie. Greeting to you, the almanac of plants and zombies. I bid you all adieu. Adieu. Adieu.